Introducing first, the challenger, being company to the ring by Brian Pillman Jr. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 255 pounds, this is Davy Boy Smith Jr. Very well put together. And introducing the champion from Iron City, Georgia, this is the end game, Paul Jordan! End game, Paul Jordan. My goodness, what a individual he is. The anticipation right now. The, the entrances are done. The introductions are done. There's the prize right there, and in about 15 to 20 seconds, this match will start, and all of the hype, it's over. This is it right now for the New England All-Star Wrestling Championship. Referee Rich Bass handing off the title, about to ring the bell, here we go. The bell has rung, it's all business right now. Paul Jourdain, Davy Boy Smith Jr. getting it on here tonight. Now collar and elbow tie up and look at the intensity of this collar and elbow tie up right now. These two guys showing each other they want to win. The legendary Killer Kowalski uh, legendary trainer here in the New England area, trained some of the biggest stars in wrestling. Always stressed the importance of a strong lockup to start a match, and we certainly just saw one there. These are my favorite kind of matches, Rich, because at any point a man can just knock out the other man because they're so big, they're so strong. One shot out of nowhere is how this match could end. I'm excited. Jordan coming off a recent victory over the man we just saw in our last match, the mass hole, Mike McCarthy. Paul Jordan has been tested a lot here. And in this building, defeated current Evolve Wrestling Champion, Josh Briggs. A lot of, lot of men have come in and tried to beat Jordan, but Jordan has the one thing on his side that no one else does, and that's momentum. 14-0, hasn't lost a match in almost two years. That is uh, quite a stat. This is our first event of 2020. Paul Jordan entering the new, new, the new century here. Still as our heavyweight champion, the New England All-Star Wrestling heavyweight title. Decade. Did I say century? I you got said very century. Excited. Decade. Decade. Thank you. Decade. Still. And look at this, these two guys here taking each other right down. Oh my goodness, yes. A decade. And now. Ten year period. Ten years. And look at that athleticism there, just able to jump right up to his feet was Davey Boy Smith Jr. Controlling the hammerlock, nice snap there, takeover. Control the body, you control the head, control the head, you control the body. And now look at him just pulling back on those massive arms of endgame Paul Jourdain. And I want you to notice Brian Pillman Jr. watching so intently. Not only is he making sure that everything is on the up and up, but he's studying a vet like Davey Boy Smith Jr. because Brian Pillman Jr. is going to be very dangerous in the future. And what an opportunity for these great fans here in Kingston to see these two great second generation athletes legit second generation athletes and now davy boy smith jr outpowering the extremely powerful paul jordan when have you seen this happen you don't you he's stretching him like in the dungeon how often do you see paul jordan down on the canvas and again you look at davy boy driving the head into the neck in between the shoulder blades trying to pull those rotator cuffs trying to eliminate any maneuver where Paul Jourdain has to use an arm. Jourdain, very popular with these great fans here in New England All-Star Wrestling. And now, look at this reversal here, but Davey Boy Smith Jr., one step ahead. The uh, much more seasoned grappler is one 
Davy Boy Smith Jr. Davy Boy Smith Jr. has been doing this a long, long time here. But Paul Jordan, look at the vascularity in his arms. He is using every muscle in his body to try to fight out of this. Jordan uh, looking in tremendous physical condition. He got it. Like you said at the outset, no knee pads. Pair of uh, blue trunks, blue wrestling shoes, no knee pads, no elbow pads. And I want you to, I, I want to point out something very smart that just happened. Paul Jourdain sat in that hold for almost four minutes and just tried to fight out of it. Davy Boy Smith Jr. gets in that hold and grabs the ropes and goes to the floor. Good call out right there, of course. Taking advantage now of the referee's count. Jordan not helping the cause, breaking the referee's count. He could have had the win right there. We go home, we eat pizza, and that's it. Pizza. And now Davy Boy Smith Jr. getting back into the ring. Standing in the hand, great show of respect. Davy Boy, of course, one half of the Killer Elite Squad in New Japan Pro Wrestling with a man you and I had an opportunity to see, one Lance Archer. Oh, dangerous, scary Lance Archer. <laughs> these two men together are just terrifying. But look at this headlock. Just a headlock wrenching on that ear, trying to cauliflower up Paul Jordan's ear. Very powerful headlock applied. And again, like you said, yeah, call it, trying to cauliflower the ear, trying to immobilize the big man. They're both big men. Six foot six against six foot seven. Wow. And you can see the size difference here between the two. Paul Jordan a little taller, but Davy Boy Smith Jr., you've got to give the strength advantage to him. And Davy Boy just challenging Jordan to give it another shot. My goodness. It's like two freight trains colliding. It certainly is. And uh, no one's giving an inch whatsoever. Not at all. <laughs> and here we go. They're both going to give it a shot. Wow. My goodness. That would dislocate my shoulder. Yeah. Oh, and Davy Boy Smith Jr.'s had enough, but Jordan's going to fight right back. Trading forearms back and forth. The champion and challenger in tonight's main event of Uncontested. And out over the top rope on his own momentum goes the champion. That's right, that would not be a disqualification because Davy Boy Smith Jr. did not throw him over. And it's not 1981 either, so. It is in my world, brother. <laughs> and now Davy Boy Smith Jr., he's, he wants him back in because he knows that if Paul Jourdain gets counted out right now, Davy Boy Smith Jr. does not win the championship. Get back in there. Look at him, taking a breather though. This is smart by Jourdain, catch your breath. Great sportsmanship here from Davy Boy Smith Jr. But offering, extending the hand. Champion thinking better of it. Oh, I just punch him in the face right now. Oh. Good. There we go. From the Sydney Bacabella Institute of Professional Wrestling, we see a new side of Davy Boy Smith Jr. as he starts to work on the legs of Endgame Paul Jordan here in tonight's main event from Pins Entertainment Complex in Kingston, Massachusetts. Oh, and he just kicked that guardrail into the knee. He's hurt. Yeah, that uh, looked very precarious, the way in which the champion slowly fell to the ground with his knee wrapped inside that guardrail. And look at this, rolling in to break the count, but Rich Bass on the floor trying to make sure that Jordan is okay. Yeah, absolutely. If the champion cannot continue, I mean, it may behoove him to just take the count out and, and look retain at, the title. This is what I was talking about earlier. Brian Pillman Jr. with some right hands there. If the referee's not doing his job, take advantage of it. The promised prince, Brian Pillman Jr. You see him. Beautiful uh, haircut. You like that? That's the, uh, the good old mullet. And now, this is what I was talking about earlier. No protective leg coverings whatsoever. And Davy Boy Smith Jr., look at that double bicep pose. He is targeting that leg. Couldn't even think about having a 255 pound man standing on my uh, shin, my ankle. I'd give up. I'd, I would certainly tap out 
and that's exactly what Davy Boy Smith Jr. is going for. Trying to force a submission here on the champion. And look at look at the torque in those legs that he is bending around. And now he is up to a mount position and butterflying. Oh. Oh my goodness, just the the pressure. I can only Oh my gosh. You've uh, you've 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 competed in a match or two. Tearing at those quadriceps, oh. those thighs, just that groin muscle. That that will that will incapacitate you. And you see the sheer uh, joy on the face of Davy Boy Smith Jr. as he continues to inflict the damage. And look at this though, Jordan still trying to fight out at every chance he gets. But look how quickly he stays on top of his opponent. Jordan got to the ropes. Uh oh. Wait a minute. There apparently was a live microphone that was in the hands. Oh, that Ryan knee. Pillman. The exposed knee. There is no protective knee covering. I said it earlier, but Davy Boy Smith has targeted it. And now Davy Boy back in the ring. Oh, he's hitting him with a live mic. He certainly is. I was just talking on here. Oh, jeez. Don't mind me. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Brian it's Pillman Jr. Once again, referee didn't see it. Oh. Oh, and that took Paul Jourdain to the floor. He, uh, down on the floor, he just got his knee wrapped around the post. You know, maybe you spend the extra 12 bucks on knee pads. Maybe. Maybe. Paul Jordan's in a lot of trouble, but he's firing back as the action. Oh, my God. Talk about a stiff forearm. That's what I mentioned earlier. One shot can change the complexion of the entire match because both of these men are so big. Think about the experience of Davy Boy. Think about the international experience that Davy Boy Smith Jr. has to his advantage in this match for the New England All-Star Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. And now, once again, going after that knee and that groin, because that's what those leg whips do. The knee hits the mat, but the snap affects that groin muscle. And Davy Boy quickly going back to work on that leg. I, I've never seen our champion on the defense as much as we have seen here tonight. Not at all, and now Paul Jordan, shoulders are down, that's, oh, could imagine if he lost right there. Imagine that, look at the ankle being just ripped apart. Look at this though, puts a nice little uh, chin lock on there. Trying, he's doing anything he can to get Davy Boy to release the hold, but nothing, oof, if shot I to were, the chest. If I were Jordan right now, I'd take my thumb and I would put it in the eye. That's how you break that hold quickly. Instead, three forearms to the chest was the path that he chose to get the challenger to release that hold. And look at Pillman now trying to rally behind Davy Boy Smith Jr. But in the meantime, the crowd, oh, and another back brain kick. The Enzigiri, if you will. God bless you. Thank you. And that causes a little bit of separation for Jordan, but he needs a lot more than just that small distance between the two of them inside the squared circle. That may be the, the, the shot he needed, but he didn't capitalize on it. He may have uh, thought better of going outside the ring and trying to get a little bit of the feeling back in that leg, but those punches seem to be working just fine. And Davy Boy calling for a timeout. Look at that. It's because he's throwing illegal right hands and the referee is going. There you go. He wants to go back to a fair wrestling match. Yeah, after uh, the punishment that Davy Boy has put on Jordan, I don't think the champion's having any of it. Misses that elbow in the corner. And once again, a headbutt. That brings back memories of the Bulldogs, huh? Oh, absolutely. And now shoots him right into the corner. No reversal. And Davy Boy hits the buckles chest first. May have knocked the wind out of him and only a count of two. 
unbelievable. Where's Paul Jourdain getting this second wind from? Because I thought about five minutes ago the match was over. Big leg drop. Will it be enough? I think now it goes for a second one. Hesitated for a second there. The leg drop has won more world championships than any other maneuver. And a third one well placed. And now Paul Jourdain is feeling it. The momentum shift has happened. And now he's wasting time, though. He's wasting time. He certainly is. Pillman encouraging Davy Boy to get back up. Jourdain very slowly making his way up to that top rope. Another headbutt, though, from Smith. Davy Boy Smith using every part of his body as a weapon. Now they're doing battle. All, both men uh -oh. above the ring, above the mat. Davy Boy going to go for a superplex. Oh no, oh no. Could be testing this brand new squared circle belonging to one New England All-Star Wrestling if over 500 pounds were to come crashing down with a superplex. But Jordan able to fight out of it here. But look at Pil Pillman with the referee's back turned beautiful. Grabbed the ankle, and Jordan's going to be singing soprano. While Davy Boy Smith has oh. exposed Paul Jordan, Brian Pillman has exposed this referee. Wait a minute. He rolled him up and got the pin. Here is your winner, and still the New England All Star Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the end game. Oh. Wait a minute. Look at this. Absolutely unbelievable. Davy Boy was going for that power slam that his father was so famous for. Jordan was able to slide down and roll up the man for the one, two, three. Well, now the dynasty sending a message to everyone in New England All Star Wrestling. They are going after the champion. Oh, no. That championship title is precariously placed. The. Hart Foundation. Wait a minute. Making a statement. In comes Lion Dynasty. Going after both Pillman and Smith Jr. Wow. Look at this. Robo has just saved the day here along with Nico. Wait. Oh, no. Oh. Davy Boy moved out of the way. And Robo, who was aiming for Davy Boy Smith Jr., just collided with the man that he will challenge right here on March the 12th. How do we know he was aiming for Davy Boy? How do we know? I mean, look at the sorry expression on his face right now. He didn't intend to do that. It's a lie. Robo the Punjabi Lion has sent a message to Endgame Paul Jourdain for March the 12th. If he hits that on the 12th, Robo's the new champion. We're going to find out at Spring Breakdown right here at Penn's. Wow, what a travesty. But everybody in this arena saw Jordan pull my tights for the victory. But, hey, I'll leave you two to figure it out. It doesn't matter which one of you is World Heavyweight Champion. I'm going to come knocking back on your door. Figure it out, pals.